What's going on everybody? Last NASCAR fan here and welcome back to some more dorm diecast reviews and I got a slew of diecast reviews that will be coming out for the next few days so I think everyone's gonna really love these cars because I got some very interesting new releases that I'm super excited to review that I'm gonna beat Brian to those said reviews. So the first car we're gonna be looking at is a 2023 release that I would consider like one of the best paint schemes of the year and uh, the sister car to it or the teammate car is currently at my house because I pre-ordered it from Circle B Diecast but I was really happy to see that his teammate one made MOQ as well so I immediately picked it up from K-State Diecast off eBay and that is the 2023 AJ Allmendinger Gain Chevrolet ZL1 Camaro for Colleague Racing. Oh yes, this is awesome. So we already did get a release for Almondinger this year for a die cast for 164, but it's a promo die cast on the left. It's on the, it's on like the JAT mold pretty. It's on the, from the JAT factory, not mold. Why did I say that? But um, it's going to be impossible to find the, that promo itself. And it's not really worth it because it's black wall tires. But if you do find it out in the wild, I recommend picking it up because it is a fantastic promo piece for any colleague fan in AJ Allmendinger's collection. But we're going to be going into the review on the gain scheme that ran in the Dirt Bristol Spring Race. Already off the bat, some plastic... Um, might have not been going through correctly. Um, Almondinger qualified 29th. I forgot where he ran in his um, heat race. But pretty much he qualified 29th and had a pretty decent day. He finished P16. So not the worst day for Almondinger. He is actually not that bad on dirt. But let's take a look at the box itself. AJ Almondinger, Colleg Racing. 2023 season unfortunately this is the only 164 gold series release that made moq this year we had two other ones that were offered that didn't make moq which was the action industries uh united scheme as well as the gabriel glass wine um that ran at sonoma so really sad that those didn't make moq but i kind of expected it because they were just it was like super impossible i would argue but let's get into the, the car itself. So already off the bat, um, it looks awesome. It looks, this car looks amazing on in the EL mold. It really does. It's clean. <laughs> Can't wait to get into that part. But let's go over the front hood. Well, colors itself, lime green, yellow, orange, white, blue, especially with the Food City logo. Uh, you got gain on the front hood. Really like that. 16. Uh, got Colleague Racing, the ZL1 Camaro logo, Sunoco, NASCAR Cup Series. There's the 75th anniversary logo right there. Um, gain on the side. No, no, no driver sponsors, which is interesting. Um, C pillar, leaf filter, and then you got your B pillar, associate sponsors, uh, Celsius, Chevrolet, Colleague Racing. Um, can't really. New one tri nutrition, yeah, new one nutrition, and then there's the rest of the quarter panel sponsors, uh, Ellsworth Construction, AG1, Action Industries, Berger, Hyper Ice. Those are all of Matt Colleague's um, personal sponsors that he'll run if there's no sponsor itself that wants to be featured on the car. Duck lid, you have the logo, you have the, you have the. Catchphrase, seriously good scent. Uh, I don't really use gain too much. I'm more of a Tide person. But this is awesome. On the TV panel, it says, smell you later. But yeah, the, the car body itself, EL mold, it rolls really well, which is a good sign. Unfortunately, with the Haley, I've seen a lot, and I, this is what I've seen with a lot of people, is that um, the 31 is super tiny. And I just think that's just a very big issue that Lionel has with their EL factories, that it's not going to be perfect, even with the rendering every time. But this is actually a very passable and fantastic scheme. 
and arguably one of the best diecast 164 schemes of the year. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and notification bell for brand new videos. I will see you in the next diecast review. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Keep on collecting.